Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to frame the fan that's above me. Framing the fan is important when putting up the ceiling because it creates a space for this to go. Trim ring is what I call it. And I'm just going to show you how to frame the fan. Purchase the Max Airfan Deluxe. It comes with a remote because I knew there were going to be moments when I would be in bed and I wouldn't want to get up and get my remote. What I'm going to be doing is there's already a piece installed here, but I'm going to be installing a piece here, there, and also there to frame the fan. And so when I fit that trim ring on that I showed you, it'll fit flush against here and then my ceiling will also go around it. So let's get to it. I'm going to use a Craig jig to make some pocket holes. So it will drill into beams I have going across the ceiling. <laughs> Other side done. Let's go install it. Something that I did right before um, I ended up drilling these is I put I put my board up, fit it, and I drew two little marks on either side so I could fit this board perfectly where it needed to go and not do it like by myself because with just my two hands it's too hard. So I'm going to line up my pieces and like I just made two tiny little marks on either side. Okay. Sometimes it's hard, especially if your wood piece isn't straight. Like on the end like mine is. No judgment. Word of the wise. Have your tool ready to go when starting. Okay. So the last time I did this was a little crooked, which was like frustrating. It's gonna be covered by the ceiling, so I'm not actually too worried, too worried about it. I felt it move. See, this is what happens when you're doing it by yourself. You don't have someone holding it for you. You see how long it takes to line everything up? No wonder this fan build is going so slowly. All right, here we go. One in. Okay, so it's in. Okay, so, oh my gosh, it's actually pretty good. Pretty dang good. Oh, it goes like this. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. Now we're going to do a piece here and a piece here. So, when I was first thinking about framing my fan, I was really confused because these screws come down. So I was like, how do people fit the wood? Like with the screws coming down, how do they figure all that out? Then I realized that you don't actually need to fit the wood onto the screws because at least the way I'm doing my ceiling is I'm matching up with these beams so it leaves a gap. So if I was to take, you know, I know this is not straight, but a piece of wood and fit it here, there's enough gap for these screws. So that was huge when I figured that out. Cause I was like, I'm just not gonna frame my fan. Like, I'm just not gonna do it. Then I realized you kind of have to. So, okay, this, this feels good. Oh, can't do any pull-ups on it, but you know. All right, we're gonna get those other two pieces done. Cut and done. Fantastic news. Since I messed up on these two pieces, they were a little too short. I already have the pieces for this cut. Uh, the, the right or width. I just need to cut the right length. So that is going to make my life a lot easier. Um, even though it, it started out being hard because I was like, crap, I have to redo these. Now I feel good about it. I want everyone on the internet to know that I've been doing this build since June 
and this is the first time I've cut a piece of wood perfectly where there's no gaps. It fits perfectly to hold itself up. I am learning. This is what we call progress, people. Oh, I didn't even need a therapist to get there. This is awesome. Woo! I framed the fan. I think the thing that I succeeded at was obviously installing those last two pieces, especially that third one. It was perfect the first time. So that's huge because that's never happened. The hardest struggle was getting those Craig Jag screws in. When they finally screw into the wood, they don't pop the wood up and get it uneven with the other boards. So I need to figure that out. Something I learned was definitely that when I'm thinking about doing it, it always seems harder, but then once I finally complete it, it's done and I can move on to the next thing. Thanks so much for watching. Remember to subscribe below if you wanna continue following my van builds. Thanks, bye.